Have you ever wondered how to mine bitcoins from your regular notebook? Welcome to the intriguing world of cryptocurrency mining, where the digital meets the tangible. Bitcoin mining, at its core, is the process of verifying and adding transactions to the public ledger known as the blockchain. But what if we told you that there's untapped potential right under your fingertips, waiting to be harnessed from your everyday notebook? Yes, you heard that, right? With the right tools, a dash of patience, and a sprinkle of perseverance, it's entirely possible to mine bitcoins from a regular notebook. Over the next few scenes, we'll walk you through the steps, from understanding the concept of bitcoin mining to preparing your notebook and finally, the actual mining process. So, buckle up and get ready for an exciting journey into the realm of bitcoin mining. Stay tuned as we unravel the process of mining bitcoins from a regular notebook. Before we dive into the process, let's understand what Bitcoin mining is. Picture a gold mine. Just like miners dig for gold, Bitcoin miners use their computers to solve complex mathematical problems. This process leads to the discovery of new Bitcoins, just like gold miners discover new gold. Bitcoin mining is the backbone of the Bitcoin network. Miners provide security and confirm Bitcoin transactions. Without miners, the network could be attacked and become inoperable. So, how does it work? Every 10 minutes or so, miners collect a few hundred pending Bitcoin transactions, a block, and turn them into a mathematical puzzle. The miner who finds the solution first gets to place the next block on the blockchain and claim the rewards, which currently stands at six and a quarter Bitcoins. These rewards incentivize miners to keep mining, despite the significant costs and risks involved. It's a high stakes game. The more computing power a miner uses, the higher their chances of solving the puzzle but it also means more electricity and more wear and tear on their machines. And here's where it gets interesting. Approximately every four years, the reward for mining a block is halved in an event known as halving. The last halving occurred in May 2020, and the next one is expected in 2024. This ensures that the total number of Bitcoins will never exceed 21 million. Now you might be wondering, why can't I just make my own Bitcoins? Well, the simple answer is, you can't. The complex algorithms and consensus mechanisms in place make it virtually impossible for anyone to cheat the system. There's no doubt that Bitcoin mining has its rewards, but it's not without its risks. The high energy requirements, the volatility of Bitcoin's price, and the increasing difficulty of mining all make it a risky endeavor. But remember, every gold rush in history has its winners and losers. And in the digital gold rush of Bitcoin mining, the story is no different. Now that we have a basic understanding of Bitcoin mining, we can proceed to the actual mining process. Next, we need to prepare our notebook for Bitcoin mining. Preparing your notebook isn't as daunting as it sounds, and we're here to guide you through every step of the process. To start, we need to evaluate the technical requirements for mining Bitcoins. The primary components influencing your notebook's capability are the CPU, GPU, and RAM. For efficient mining, a high-performance CPU is crucial. So, if your notebook's processor is a bit outdated, you might want to consider an upgrade. Similarly, a robust GPU is another key element. The better the GPU, the faster the mining process. Lastly, don't forget about RAM. At least 8GB of RAM is recommended for smooth operations. Now, how do you check if your notebook meets these requirements? It's pretty straightforward. On most notebooks, you can find this information in the About This PC section under System Properties. If your notebook doesn't meet the requirements, don't fret. Notebooks are highly customizable and you can upgrade the CPU, GPU, and RAM as needed. Next up, we have software requirements. You'll need a Bitcoin wallet to store your mined Bitcoins and a mining program to do the actual mining. There are many options available, each with its own set of pros and cons. Some popular choices include Bitcoin Core for a wallet and CG Miner or BFG Miner for a mining program. These are all free and relatively easy to install. Another crucial aspect of preparing your notebook is ensuring it's adequately cooled. Mining bitcoins can generate a lot of heat, which can damage your notebook if not properly managed. Consider investing in an external cooling pad to keep your notebook cool during the mining process. Lastly, you'll want to have a stable internet connection. Mining bitcoins requires a lot of data transfer, and a weak connection can significantly slow down the process. With our notebook prepared, we can now move on to the mining process. Remember, patience is key in Bitcoin mining. With the right setup and a bit of perseverance, your notebook could become a gold mine. Let's dive in. Now comes the exciting part, the actual mining process. 
Imagine the mining process as a treasure hunt where the treasure is a Bitcoin block, and the tools for hunting are your notebook and a good mining software. If that sounds like an adventure, then buckle up because we're about to embark on this exciting journey. First, you need to install a mining software on your notebook. This software is your treasure hunting tool. It will help your notebook to solve complex mathematical problems, which is the essence of mining. There are various mining software available, but for beginners, we recommend starting with something user-friendly, like CG Miner or BFG Miner. These software are easy to set up and offer a clean, intuitive interface. After installing the software, you'll need to configure it. This involves setting up your Bitcoin wallet address in the software. Remember the wallet we set up in Scene 3? That's where all your mined Bitcoins will go. So, make sure to input the correct wallet address. Next, we move on to joining a mining pool. Think of a mining pool as a team of treasure hunters. By joining a pool, you're teaming up with other miners to find the Bitcoin block. When the pool successfully mines a block, the reward is split among all members of the pool. This increases your chances of earning Bitcoins as compared to mining solo. Some popular mining pools include Slush Pool, F2 Pool, and Ant Pool. Choose a pool that best fits your needs and join in. Once you're part of a mining pool, you're almost set to start mining. But before that, let's talk about some tips and tricks for efficient mining. First, it's important to keep your notebook cool. Mining can generate a lot of heat, and if your notebook gets too hot, it can damage the hardware. So, ensure proper ventilation and consider using a cooling pad. Second, remember to keep your software up to date. Mining software developers regularly release updates to improve performance and fix bugs. So, make sure you're always using the latest version of your software. Lastly, be patient. Mining is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It takes time and persistence. But with the right approach and a bit of luck, you could mine your first Bitcoin block. Finally, it's time to start mining. Launch your mining software, ensure that it's connected to your mining pool, and then let the hunt begin. Your notebook is now solving complex mathematical problems, and each solution brings you one step closer to finding that Bitcoin block. Congratulations, you're now mining Bitcoins from your notebook. And who knows, perhaps soon you'll be telling your own story of how you mined 1.7 Bitcoins from your HP notebook. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today. We began by diving into the complex world of Bitcoin mining, where we unraveled the intricate process of how transactions are verified and added to the public ledger, known as the blockchain. We discovered that by mining, we're actually contributing to the security and reliability of the Bitcoin network. We then moved on to preparing your notebook for the task. We discussed the various software options available, weighing the pros and cons of each. We spoke about how crucial it is to ensure your notebook is equipped with a good cooling system to prevent overheating, and how paramount it is to have a robust internet connection to stay synchronized with the network. In the mining process section we walked through the step-by-step -step guide to start mining, from downloading the right mining software to setting up a digital wallet, to joining a mining pool, we covered it all. We also emphasized the importance of patience and persistence, given that the rewards might not flood in instantly. Now, let's address some common questions. Yes, it's possible to mine bitcoins using a notebook, but it's not usually the most effective method. High-performance computers and specialized hardware known as ASICs are typically more efficient. However, if you're just starting out and want to dip your toes into the world of crypto mining, a notebook can serve as a good starting point. One of the most crucial points to remember is that Bitcoin mining isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. It takes time, effort, and a bit of luck. It's important to stay informed about the latest trends and changes in the Bitcoin network as they can significantly impact the profitability of mining. For those who want to delve deeper into the world of Bitcoin mining, there are plenty of online resources available. Websites like Bitcoin.org and forums like Bitcoin Talk can provide a wealth of information and support from the wider Bitcoin community. Thank you for watching. Remember, mining Bitcoins is a fun and potentially rewarding activity, but always do your research and mine responsibly.